Hey friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to combine data from multiple tables into a single table or how we can create a single table from multiple tables in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. Here we have four sheets in which we have data of different employees along with their salary details. For example, the first sheet production, we have here employees that belongs to production department along with their details and salary breakdown. Similarly, we have here details of employees that work in sales department, employees that work in finance department, and employees that belongs to management team. Now, let's say we want to combine these four tables and we want to create a single table in which we have record of all of employees of the company, no matter if they belongs to production, sales, finance, or management. So how we can combine these four tables and create one big table in which we have all of this data. To create one table from these four tables, the first step is to create name ranges. Now question is how we can create name ranges. This is very simple. We need to click anywhere on our data. We simply need to use shortcut key control plus T. It will open window create table. In this create table window, you will see that this window has automatically selected our data. We just need to make sure that all of our data has been selected. Then as you can see, our table or data has headers that is employee name, country, department, designation. So we need to keep this box check. My table has headers. We will go for OK and you will see instantly our data has been changed into table. Here we have name of this table. We need to change name of this table. Maybe we can use name same as we have name of sheet. So I will use here name same as we have a sheet I have put here production I will press enter and here we go for this table we have been created name range how we can check name range we can go to this name box and you will see in this drop down we have here name production so this is our name range so we have been created name range for one of the table that we need combine we will do the same for rest of these three tables we will go to the sales sheet we will do the same use shortcut key control plus T we will go for ok we will change here name sales press enter now we will go to finance department or finance sheet click anywhere on the table or data use shortcut key control plus t we will go for ok we will change here name finance enter management sheet click anywhere on the data shortcut key control plus t go for ok can change name here management enter and now we have been created four name ranges we can check from this name box you can see four name ranges let's say we want to check name range sales i will click on sales it will instantly go to the sales sheet and it will select all of this data that we used to create this name range sales now first step has been completed we have been creating name ranges now what we need to do for one by one we will go to this sheets we will go to data tab in data tab we will go to this option from table or range i will click on table or range it may take a few seconds depends on speed of your system you can see a new window has been opened power query editor in this window we have all the data that we have in our production sheet what we need to do we simply need to go here we need to select close and load to it will open a new window import data we need to select only create connection we don't need to select pivot chart table etc because already we have a table so we don't need to select table pivot table etc we need to select only create connection you will go for ok and you will see in query window we have hate production so what we need to do we need to go do the same for rest of these three sheets i will go sales sheet i will go data tab from table and range when i will click on table or range you will see the power query editor window appears i need to go to close and load to i will click on this i need to select here only create connection i will go for ok similarly i will do for finance sheet click on this option it will open power query window here i need to go ahead close and load to it will open the window in this window i need to select only create connection go for ok similarly i will do for management sheet and you can see all of these sheets or data from all of these sheets is under queries if we go to any of this sheet you can see we have the same data that we have in our original sheet now what we need to do we need to combine these four queries what we will do simply we will go to the data tab in data tab we will go to get data Combine queries as we want to combine these four queries. Select second option append. And you will see that we have had a window 
in which we need to select if we have two tables or three or more tables. Obviously, we have four tables. We need to select the second option and here we need to add one by one to the append. Let's say I can select management, then finance, then sales and then production. So I have been added all of these four queries here. I can also rearrange these queries. Let's say I want to take production department employees on top. Then let's say sales department on second rank. Then finance department on third rank. And management employees on fourth rank are at last. Then after arranging these sheets, I will go for OK. And you will see that Power Query Editor window appears. Now this time in this window, we have data from all of these sheets. You can see production employees are on top. Then we have here sales employees. Then we have finance employees. And at last, we have management employees. We can further edit here our data. Let's say I don't need this country column. I will select it and I will go for remove columns and instantly that column has been removed. Now I need to take this data on my sheet or on my file. I will click on this option close and load. After I click on this option, you will see that instantly a new sheet is appeared in our file. In this file, if we notice that data from all of these sheets has been combined. Same in the order that we used while we were in process of combining these four sheets. You can see on top we have production employees. Then we have sale employees. Then we have finance employees and at last management employees. The one thing that you need to remember is that this table that we have combination or we have total of these four tables. This table is dependent on this original tables. To understand this, let's say the first employee has department production. If I will go to the original table from which we have taken this data and for first employee, let's say I change department from production into HR and I go back to our uh, master table in which we have combined all these four tables. You can see the card is still the same but in case I refresh my data or I close this file and open it again, this record would have been updated. If I go to data tab, I click on refresh all, it will refresh my data and you can see the record has been updated. If you want to remove dependency of this table on these four tables, you can simply select your data, you can copy it and in next sheet, you can simply paste it as values and then your data is no more dependent on these original tables. So friends, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. I hope you learn something from this video. If you learn something from this video, please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, Microsoft Office Tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye bye.